Hello everyone and welcome back to our Minecraft Survival Let's Play. We are now on 1.17. I mean, we've been on 1.17. We have an Isaiah tree behind me, so we have definitely been on this update already. But yeah, guys, we made this house last episode. I hope you guys are doing great. I am doing well, if you are wondering. But yes, we built this house last episode. We were messing with the new blocks. We messed. We were messing with this moss block. And if you bone meal one block, it spreads to so many of the grass blocks and you get even more out of it. So it's actually a really... Now that you think, now that you think of it, you can actually make a bone meal farm out of this. Because if you just bone meal one bit of moss, it creates all this. That's actually insane. And then you get all these pretty carpets. Oh man, they all look so, so good. We also did the interior in here. Um, I haven't added anything in the barrels or storage at all, but I did sleep in my bed, so this is my bed, um, for now on, and this is gonna be my home. Even though it's a little smaller than, it's a little, it's a little compact and tight, but you know what, it's fine, because we're not really gonna be hanging out in here, really. So yeah, we just, it's a cute little house, I think, but yeah, I kind of want all the houses to be all the same. In, in a way, in a way. I don't want one to just really stand out like that one. That one doesn't really fit the theme of like the Plains Village biome. Biome. Just the, plage, the Plains Village in general because the Plains Village has like a lot of oak and cobblestone and also white terracotta. If you see that house over there, it has some white terracotta. Which I added some of that here, but and I also added a few more blocks just to give it more of a gradient look. And I just decided to add other blocks. I, I don't want to just keep using the same blocks all the time. So I mentioned last episode, guys, I want to build a gold farm. I want to actually like I've been doing a lot of building here. Well, yeah, I, I, I like building, right? I like building, I like seeing what we could come up with, especially that house over there. Like, look at that house over there. Oh, it looks so nice. I am really proud of that, honestly. Like, I have never thought I could be building things like that. That is definitely new for me, and I've been getting a lot of inspiration lately. And it's not 100% perfect, but it, 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 I think it looks really nice. So that is going to be staying there for a long time. But yeah, guys, I want to build a gold farm. And off camera, I have already been getting some materials. The material I've been getting a lot of was magma. I have been getting a lot of magma blocks. I was going through the scary nether, which actually looks really pretty, honestly. If I have render distance up really high, it looks so pretty. But yeah, I was collecting a bunch of that, as well as mining some iron and some redstone and yeah that's pretty much what i've been doing so these chests over here have some blocks that i want to use to build a gold farm and there's a certain gold farm i want to build i kind of want to challenge myself but this is all the stuff we've been collecting we live right next to a desert so we have all the glass in the world but yeah this is all that i've gotten so far this is not all of the materials but it is a little bit of it I am not even anywhere near done collecting materials. So I'm just gonna collect the rest of the materials. I don't wanna bore you guys with the material and grinding collection. So I'm gonna get all these and I'm gonna show you, I actually picked a spot in the nether um, where I want to build a gold farm. I already broke bedrock and everything. I, I've been busy, I've been busy off camera. I have definitely been busy because I wanna get things rolling because I actually really wanna go and fight the ender dragon because believe it or not guys, I'm really tired of just constantly walking i want to get some elytra wings but i don't think we're gonna do that next episode or i'm not sure when we're gonna do it so for now i feel like a gold farm is very necessary because trading with piglins is so important now it, it, it's unbelievable how important it is now you can get so many good materials and even ender pearls and all that good stuff so i'm gonna just finish collecting all the materials i need it's definitely gonna take a while so let me get done with that right now. So I wanted to show you guys. So this is my nether world. Still loading in. It's been a while. I really don't go in the nether that often. It's It's been a while. I think the last time I was here is when we actually just explored what we were, you know, what was around us. And our spawn point for this nether portal is in a soul sand valley. And now that I got Optifine, this looks so good. But... 
kind of a good thing about our portal being here is that we're literally right above a fortress <laughs> and i've already been there i've already explored it that would be an amazing fortress to build a wither skeleton farm because we're in a soul sand valley we would get all of the skulls and all of the skeletons so i made a staircase all the way up to um to what's the height for bedrock here in the nether well i made it all the way up and i made i made a spot where i want to build the gold farm and i actually built the bed bedrock already i, I mentioned this already this is a point where i really wish i actually had an elytra or not elytra shulker boxes so i can actually carry all my everything that i've gathered everything that i've grinded for and just bring them all up here but i can't and this is kind of just where because i've been i was exploring um the nether waste that's nearby us to see what would where would be a good spot to build the farm above and this is our nether waste biome there actually is another fortress over there that i didn't even explore yet um but yeah this is this looks actually really cool yeah we got our warped forest over there we got crimson forest right here we basically got all of the biomes really close to each other which is actually nice We've also collected magma blocks around the area too. I believe if we go more this way, there'll be more nether wastes, but this is the area of where I'm choosing to build the gold farm. So this is definitely going to take me a while. This is, <laughs> this is above bedrock. Nothing is built here at all. But yeah, this is going to be the site of our first building on top of the nether roof. And it'll be our gold farm and i'm gonna start getting to it it is gonna definitely take me a long time so i am gonna go right into time lapse mode put on some music and get this build started craft <laughs> this is awesome look at this i've never done a build like this before and i'm actually really happy about it so i believe there's 19 layers i lost count of course it is not my build design so i built it off of shulker crafts amazing tutorials and it's not at its full potential because i didn't spawn poop underneath the nether i will get to that on my own time but for now this is what we're working with right now and this is my way of getting up here. I don't have an elytra, so I have to use ladders in the meantime. So this is the whole system. As I'm killing the, the piglins, um, their drops will come out of these droppers, and we can get high amounts of items. So these cobwebs slow that down, and these push the glowstone and put them in this one spot here where this honey block We'll push the items from here to here. And the slime brings it down. Oh, why do I have a honey block? What? <laughs> Where did that come from? That's concerning. Oh, look, it came up from there. How did that happen? What? All right, well, intermission. I wish I knew why that happened, but you know what? It's fixed now. That's all that matters. But kind of concerning. I, I really don't know why that came up. Maybe I accidentally hit it. But nonetheless, that's how the whole system works and the items are already sorted. I had a bunch of leftover glass, so I used the glass. So we're, we're sorting zombie flesh so we can trade villagers gold ingots for when I manually kill them myself with my looting and golden nuggets. And as you can see, we're already getting some. I've already been at the farm for a little bit, so we are just getting a decent amount of stuff. Uh, apparently we're not getting any gold ingots, but oh yeah, because they're... That's what that's what's in the hoppers. I'm not getting too much piglin drops. 
So, oh, that's, that's a lot of zombie flesh. Um, yeah, because I have to spawn poop the bottom. But other than that, I'm really proud of this build. I never really done builds like this before. I have done a gold farm before, but that was just in the Boxscape server. And that was just a very basic gold farm. It was just for me to AFK. There wasn't any way to manually kill. So I could just manually kill these guys. And then there's also an option for them to just be killed on their own. And I could just AFK here. And that's how they go. I kind of left some dirt up there. <laughs> so the next step is for me... I mean, yes, to spawn from the bottom, but I do want to make a piglin a bartering station. I don't know how far we're going to go in this episode. There's a lot to do. And I do want to fight the Ender Dragon. We are, we have made a lot of progress on this Let's Play. And I feel like an Elytra is definitely in need, but I still want to get, like, the, the most essential farms. I really do want to have a piglin bartering station. I really want to have that before I fight the Ender Dragon, so I might do that first so the first thing i want to do is move our nether portal it is in such an ugly spot so i'm gonna move it into i guess you can call our industrial district i believe that i said that i called it the industrial district i'm still deciding on what i should really do with it or what i should really call it i think it's just mostly for like um farms and stuff that's what my goal is with it at least but I do want to add another portal in there as well. And I kind of have an idea of where I would like to put it. So right behind our desert pyramid. You know what? Now that I'm looking at it, they might even transform it into something like a nether structure. Or even put the actually put the nether portal in there. Oh, I don't know. Oh, what should I do, guys? I might put the nether portal in here and then completely transform this thing. Maybe it could be something that grew out from the nether. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> I, I feel like that's pretty cool. Something a little creative. Got to think about it. Because this, I just realized when like making, I guess, the draft wall of our I quote unquote industrial district. Um, if I can get up here. So yeah, it's kind of high over here where this our hospital is, right? But then it just drops down. <laughs> and if you can see where the wall is, the wall's pretty high up. So we're going to have to climb up a steep, steep hill. But I mean, I'm not complaining about that. I'm fine with doing that. So I might transform this temple into something more nether related. I feel like that'd be a really cool build. So you know what? I'm going to put the nether portal inside. And I actually got collected more obsidian just to make the portal a little bit bigger because we just had the standard portal size. And... This is what we're working with. Let me just light it up. I don't want any surprises <laughs> coming at me. But yeah, we can definitely make our nether portal right here. Is this a bit too wide? Let's see. Um, I don't know. I think it might look cool. I might bring it in just one bit here and one bit here. Because I still want there to be like an archway leading into it more decoration around the whole edges of the nether portal so um yeah that may be a little too big for my liking so i'm just gonna shrink it down just a little bit i feel like that looks a little better <laughs> it's not too big but it's not too small so now we have to see where it leads i have to get a flint and steel <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh my god Ah, uh, so I'm underneath our gold farm right now, and I want to build just a little small piglin farm right here in this little spot. Nothing too crazy. I have some materials here, and I have the piglins here already. We're just going to make a small piglin farm for now, maybe expand it in the future, but for now, something small and quick.
Yes, look at them go. They're trading. Oh, it's so good. I am so happy right now. I did two things that I've been wanting to do for a long time in a one episode, even though it actually took me a while. <laughs> this episode was not recorded in one day, guys. Please don't believe that. It's recorded throughout multiple days. But yeah, this is what we're getting, guys. Look at all these goodies. We're actually getting some Blackstone now. Wow, now we have access to Blackstone. Even though we can get Blackstone in our Basalt Deltas, which is right next to the Soul Sand Valley. But we have a little bit of an easier way of getting Blackstone. I'm actually really happy. I was thinking about adding more piglins to each little chamber right here. So there could be more than one in here. Or maybe even expand it out this way and this way. Or back and forth. I'm not entirely sure. These two guys right now are enough, honestly. For now, I'll probably expand it in the future. But I do want to add some sort of storage system because right now all the goodies are just being put in this one chest, unorganized and all that. So I might want to do a nice storage system, just like I did in the Boxcape server. The Boxcape server, I did a lot of stuff that I thought I could never do. And now that I know I'm actually able to do all these kinds of stuff, I'm excited. I want to get this done. So. I feel like a storage room for these guys would be ideal. Well, they're drops, they're goodies, not for them. <laughs> they are just giving me what I would like. And a lot of piglin keep coming up here, and that is messing with my rates up there. I still have to make it a point to spawn proof the floors down there. And I will get that done very soon. I'll probably do that off camera because that is some boring work. So I might just do a quick storage system for these guys. And I think that'll be the end of this episode. This episode has been jam packed full of fun stuff and farm ideas and I am loving it. Guys, we are at the bedrock roof of the nether. I am digging out our storage system right here and as I'm digging, look what I found. I found some ancient debris. This is the first ancient debris I've ever found. I didn't even find any on the Boxscape server. Oh my goodness, how exciting is this? My first ancient debris, this is absolutely awesome. Any more in this spot? I don't see any, it was just that one piece. And I thought it could only spawn like deep down into the nether. But no, you can actually find it in any any layer, any level it looks like. I guess it's just super rare to find it up in the higher levels like at bedrock. storage system is now done beautiful 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 and i already sorted everything so everything should go in their respective chests and then i have these four chests in the back which just the random drops like water bottles fire resistance potions the enchanted books the enchanted boots stuff like that so as soon as i place this hopper we're gonna have a bit of a build up because we do have a lot of items in here and we only have this one hopper transferring items from two double chests I might have to figure out a way to fix that in the future, but for now, we're just going to keep it as is. But once I place this, everything should start getting sorted on its own. Here we go. So it looks like gravel is going to be sorted first. We just got to find the gravel. I have to label these. I will definitely get around to it. So gravel is over there. And as you can see, gravel is definitely going into the chest. So we're going to have a whole bunch of goodies. Once I AFK at my gold farm, get all the gold in the world, and we can have so much stuff, and we use string to trade for our emeralds, right? 
this farm gives us emerald too. <laughs> I mean, not emerald. This farm gives us string too. So we're actually going to be doing pretty good. So surprisingly, these guys barter a lot of good stuff. Blackstone, we're going to have access to building. Obsidian is always a good block to have. Mining it is a pain. Crying obsidian, you can only get from piglin bartering and ruin portals, but you're not gonna look around for ruin portals all the time. And crying obsidian looks just so nice, honestly, with the purple. Gravel, of course, is always important for making concrete and other stuff. Spectral arrows and nether quartz is always handy. There's the string. Leather, which is not very useful because I get a lot of leather just by slaughtering my cows. Soul sand, iron nuggets, ender pearls, which are very helpful with us finding the stronghold, which we have to do very soon. But yeah, this is everything. We've done a lot. But yeah, we just gotta wait for all this to sort out. I'm gonna hang out here for a bit, and then we're gonna head back to the overworld, guys. Woohoo! <laughs> Well guys, we are finally back at home and it has been a long time since I've actually put on shaders and everything just looks so, so good as always. So pretty, that sun is shining really bright. So we're home now, I'm probably going to spend a lot of my time in the nether getting some gold, trading with the piglins and doing all that good stuff. I want to see what other farms I could do. What farms do you guys want to see me do, huh? gonna be a it's a gonna be a very different experience for me honestly so let me know let me know what you guys want to do L please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed i definitely enjoyed this is a very eventful episode and i'm excited to have a lot more eventful episodes in the future and guys make sure you hit the subscribe button it is definitely always free and you can always unsubscribe if you want to Alright guys, take care and I will see you in the next episode.